Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at Spherical Morph. Um, in this video, I'll be explaining a bit about the component uh, Sporf, um, although I'm not quite sure that's pronounced like that, but I know it refers to Spherical Morph. So, um, Yes, we can get that either by writing spoof or by going to transform morph and clicking on spoof. So um, in the brief explanation of it, it says that the, com the component deforms an object from a source surface to a target surface. So what I will need is an object, a source surface and a target surface simple as that. Uh, I will create this geometry here in, in Rhino. I'm just going to create a simple geometry just for to, to explain the logic behind it and that will be it. So I will have um, the object and um, the base surface. So I'm going to put the base surface here and I'm going to create slightly more curvy surface I'm going to flip it as well just like that um, before I start projecting the whole thing. So um, this is basically what I need um, to generate. You can generate that in Grasshopper, of course, or you can have your own uh, geometry inside Grasshopper, but I'm just doing that sort of quickly so I can explain um, the logic. Um, now I'm going to move all these geometries inside Grasshopper, so I'm just going to create a geometry for the object, and I need two surfaces. So one and two. Um, I'm going to set one geometry and I'm going to set a surface, base surface and the target surface. Connecting the base surface here, the target surface to the target and the geometry to the geometry. However, this is still not working. The component is still not working, showing me a message here which says input parameter, parameter failed to collect data. So what I need is to put the parameters here. So looking at the parameters explanation it says UV parameter on base surface used for orienting. So I need an MD slider for that. So I just have to connect it here. Another one there. Um, now I have a result and the error message disappeared so when I look here I will see that my the shape has been um, projected here on the surface but if I am to look on um, the way it has been projected actually <coughs> if I am to flip this just to make it easier The way it has been projected is that it it needs to be flipped if we are to look to like to into it in an easier way because we see that here it starts from the beginning with the surface and ends much before that, but it's not the case here if we are looking in this direction, but it is the case in that direction. So we just need basically <coughs> to be flipping <coughs> to be flipping uh, um, these. Um, the surface. Uh, so if I am to rotate this like that, then the relationship changed. So it's between this and this like that. So uh, I can scale my base surface and have it like that, just to make it easier for me to read it. Does that make sense? I also can keep um, the Z going up is going to help me later on for the movement. This is like orienting, basically I'm just trying to orient um, the relationship between uh, the geometries just to make it easier for me to um, apply changes 
um, and see how they are moving in relationship to each other so here uh, I had that so if if I look at the result this is the shape projected on the other curved surface so um, if I am to move the original shape it will move like that so um, I can see that it's going is moving in the different direction so one of those two is going to be flipped for us to get the right result so now I'm moving this up and it's moving up there moving it down it's moving down um, and so on left and right um, the projection is working in the same proportions um, the last thing to explain is the rigid toggle here so it, it works just like a boolean toggle with true and false so I'm going to create a boolean toggle here connect it and it says here geometry will not be deformed as it is transformed which means that it will maintain the original shape of the geometry the 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 um, the object that we are planning to um, morph basically uh, so if I set this to true I can see that this is the exact shape that I had here with um, sorry with the center the relationship between the center between these two um, these two um, uh, objects is the same here so if I am to move this up it will go up like that same if I went down and so on if I am to turn the toggle off the shape is going to take um, the same sh shape uh, of the surface um, hopefully that this has explained the component well and um, thanks for watching